historic flooding from Harvey, which came ashore in Texas last week as a powerful Category 4 hurricane and is now a tropical storm, has killed at least seven people in Texas and was expected to drive 30,000 from their homes. Wall Street analysts estimated insured losses of up to $20 billion, making Harvey one of the costliest storms in history for U.S. insurers. Congress will return next week from summer vacation, with the hurricane complicating an already difficult fiscal situation with the federal budget and Trump's Mexican border wall proposal. Harvey will increase the pressure on Washington to not shut down the government, but it also makes the September 30th package more cumbersome and complicated, Chris Kruger, policy analyst at financial firm Cowan Co., said in a research note. Asked if Harvey made him reconsider his shutdown threat, Trump said, it has nothing to do with it, really. I think this is separate. This is going to go really very, very quickly. Congressional Republicans have not spelled out their plan for dealing with the budget and a related, must-pass increase in the federal debt ceiling. Some aides and analysts have speculated that those issues might be swept into a single piece of legislation, possibly including Harvey aid. House of Representatives Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi said on Monday that Republicans must be ready to join Democrats in passing a timely relief bill. Federal Emergency Management Agency Administrator Brock Long said more than 450,000 people were expected to seek disaster assistance because of catastrophic flooding. We will help those affected by this terrible disaster. The first step in that process is a formal request for resources from the administration, said Ashley Strong, spokeswoman for House Speaker Paul Ryan. Texas Republican Rep. Pete Sessions told MSNBC he expected lawmakers to back any aid package as long as it was not bloated beyond the needed storm response. Some conservatives have balked in the past at authorizing money for disaster relief. In 2005, then-Indiana Republican Rep. Mike Pence, now Vice President, called on the floor of the House for offsetting money spent on Katrina relief with cutbacks elsewhere. The Sandy relief bill had more pork in it than a bacon factory, said Rep. Blake Ferrant Hold, a Republican who represents Corpus Christi, which was hit hard by Harvey. Republican Rep. Pete King of New York said in a Twitter message on Monday, I won't abandon Texas the way Ted Cruz did New York.